For this area of the exhibit, we're, uh, we used some applications for our customers that needed uh, distributor motor uh, control architecture. So a lot of our customers will utilize motor control centers. We'll have several buckets for both cross the line type starters or variable frequency drive type applications. So if the customer has 10 or 15 motors that all need to be connected and controlled, they'll do several columns of these, uh, of these systems here all stacked together to be able to cost effectively uh, control and protect those motors. Another solution the customers will do instead of the motor control center, they'll do their motor control in more of a distributed architecture directly on, say, on the side of the conveyor system or the material handling system. So such as this is our M200D system, which is a cross-the-line uh, type starter. Uh, this is our ET200 Pro series, which is a build-up slice type of I.O., but again designed to be outside of a, a control uh, cabinet. And so we can do multiple starters and build up this rack uh, system here. On the right-hand side, these are two different form factors for variable frequency drives. So if the customer needs to vary the speed of the motor or the, the ramp up or ramp down time of the motors, customers would utilize these form factors, again, directly out on the conveyor or out on the material handling system uh, for their application. And in conjunction with motor control, we also have other devices that are rated for directly uh, outside the machine mounting in that as well. Uh, distributed I.O. type products as well as RFID readers and limit switches that are designed to be again uh, directly out on the machine mounted and doing uh, operation. Up on the top of the panel is some of our networking architectures so that if we do have these type of products and we have to be able to incorporate them into our overall network architecture, we also have uh, IP67 rated uh, devices for our network architecture as well.